The new Galaxy S21 Ultra is Samsung's new phone with everything you want inside of it. It got more cameras, beefier specs and even S Pen compatibility. It is one gorgeous looking phone. In addition to phantom black color, there is also phantom silver color on sale everywhere. Samsung's own online store offers an additional three options, phantom titanium, phantom navy and phantom brown. Whatever color you choose, the matte finish of each color is a significant improvement over last year's S20 series. It's a big phone but easy to hold in hand because of curved display and overall narrowness. The carved edge to edge screen means the bezel is almost non-existent and the 40 megapixel front camera hides behind a tiny punch hole that's easy to ignore after a few minutes of watching a video. As for buttons and ports, we are getting a very similar setup to Galaxy S20 Ultra. The right side of the phone houses the power button and volume rockers. The left side of the phone is completely void of buttons or ports. And on the bottom, you will find the USB-C port, speaker and SIM card tray. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is simply one of the best screens on a phone. It's bright, vibrant and doesn't make you choose between the highest resolution and highest refresh rate like its predecessor. You will be mesmerized when watching a videos on this phablet. The colors are as rich as ever and the viewing angles nice and wide. The Galaxy S21 Ultra screen is Samsung's first that's capable of running at a smooth 120Hz refresh rate while in a quad HD resolution. Both the Galaxy S21 Ultra and S21 Plus have a smooth Gorilla Glass back. This phone packs quad rear camera setup. There's a main 108MP wide sensor and 12MP ultra wide camera which is complemented by a laser autofocus sensor. The Galaxy S21 Ultra will make you feel like a secret agent because it packs two telephoto lenses of 3x and 10x optical zoom. Having two telephoto cameras does seem downright ridiculous but they offer different perspectives, 3x and 10x, all without having to go digital and hybrid zoom in between. The zoom functionality on both sides is optical. The new ISOCELL Bright HM3 108MP sensor brings improved focusing and low light performance, especially when aided by the new laser guided focus assist. The 108MP main camera can capture 12 bit HDR photos with rich color data and great dynamic range. Portrait mode photos generally looked good and had great edge detection due to the laser guided autofocus sensor. Images are pretty clear and sharpness is very good in general. Plus, there's a 12-bit RAW file option in Pro mode. The quality of telephoto camera is quite good. The Galaxy S21 Ultra also performs quite well in low light thanks to a faster bright night sensor and 12MP Nona binning technology for reducing noise. On the video front, this device can record 8K video up to 30fps and all of its cameras can capture 4K video at up to 60fps. There's a new vlogger mode that lets you use the front and back cameras at the same time for recording video. And you can see live thumbnails of each camera while recording video so you can make a quick call if you want to switch. The Galaxy S21 Ultra's footage looks stunning, it delivers near movie quality results. Also you can feel free to move around a lot while shooting. Selfies also look quite good on the S21 Ultra. The sensor is 40 megapixel, but by default it will be down to 10 megapixel. The color is really great especially in good light, even at night you will get a stunning image using front camera. The selfie camera can also shoot 4K video at up to 60fps and overall it looked great. Color and sharpness were just as good as the other cameras. Samsung has also introduced a couple of new features like Single Take 2.0 and Director's View. Single Take 2.0 can create multiple types of media from one recording of video. Director's View will let you switch between different viewpoints while recording video. It can also show a feed from selfie camera in the top corner which allows you to have multiple different viewpoints in one clip. Overall, the camera system in Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is one of the best you can get on Android. It's incredibly versatile. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is one of the first phones powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chip which is complemented by 12GB or 16GB of RAM. Do whatever you want and the processor will support you along the way. If you are looking for a phone that can last all day, this is it. It comes with 5000 mAh battery and supports 25W fast charging. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the biggest iPhone Apple has ever made and it's also the best. 
The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the kind of product Apple only releases once in a while. The kind that looks different is built on a fundamentally new technology and will ultimately form the basis of future iPhones for years to come. It has an attractive new design, a straightforward and complete approach to 5G, good cameras and even better performance. The shiny outer rim looks fancy but it also a magnet for fingerprints. Essentially, the design of the 12 Pro Max is just a larger version of the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro and despite the size, it still fits well in the hand and it's easy to hit Siri or screen lock button on the left and the volume keys on the right. The notch on the iPhone 12 Pro remains pretty large but the true depth camera still comes in very handy for face ID. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is also tougher this time around. You will get a ceramic shield display up front that's rated 4 times the drop performance as well as a better IP68 water resistance rating that goes down to 6 meters instead of 4 meters. With its 6.7 inch OLED display, the iPhone 12 Pro Max's OLED panel is smaller but brighter than the 6.9 inch Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This device also happens to offer the most color accurate display we have ever tested. The only thing missing from the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a smooth 120Hz refresh rate display. The iPhone 12 Pro Max offers the best cameras on any phone. It comes with quad rear camera setup. You will get 12 megapixel wide, ultra wide, and a telephoto lens. And also, there is a time of flight 3D scanner. It has a larger main sensor than the iPhone 12 Pro, which is designed to deliver an 87% improvement in low light conditions versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The main lens on the iPhone 12 Pro Max also features a fast 1.6 aperture and a lighter sensor for the faster autofocus. You also get a 2.5x optical zoom from the iPhone 12 Pro Max's 12 megapixel telephoto lens, which is behind the Note 20 Ultra's 5x zoom but is better than the 2x zoom on the iPhone 12 Pro. The camera does a superb job in low light. The iPhone 12 Pro Max camera's Smart HDR3 capability also did an amazing job. The iPhone 12 and Pixel 5 were more evenly matched in portrait, but the iPhone does a better job rendering face, especially in the shadow. You can take great selfies with the 12 megapixel front facing camera. However, the rear facing cameras deliver a much punchier performance and are especially impressive in mixed lighting conditions with natural skin tones and good ability to bring out low light detail. The result is simple, if you want to take the best pictures with an iPhone, you can't look anywhere else but the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You can record 4K video at 60fps and the video quality is mind blowing. When it comes to sheer performance, the A14 Bionic processor in the iPhone 12 Pro Max paired with 6GB of RAM has no equal. The gameplay remained as fluid and smooth as console. This phone supports every flavor of 5G including sub 6GHz and MMOF. One of the biggest reasons to buy the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the extra endurance you get from its larger battery. It comes with 3687mAh battery with 20W fast charge support. Sony's smartphones have always been different than other brands, and the Xperia 1 Mark III continues this trend. From the unusually tall, boxy body to the seam tray that can be removed with just a fingernail and the noticeable top and bottom bezel, this is a design that anyone who's seen a Sony phone in the past half decade will recognize. There are two new hardware features this year, a 4K 120Hz OLED screen, the first phone in the industry to offer such high resolution and refresh rate and a variable periscope zoom lens that can change optical focal length from 70mm to 105mm. The other standard flagship specs are present here, Snapdragon 8 chipset, UFS 3.1 storage, IP68 water resistance, wireless charging for that 4500mAh cell, and Gorilla Glass protection for the front and back of the device. The phone also offers several things that most flagships have eliminated, it has front facing stereo speaker, a micro SD card slot for storage expansion and a headphone jack. There's a very unique app called Cinema Pro and aimed at serious photographers. It offers true controls over filming including manual ISO, shutter speed, white balance as well as the ability to manual focus. If you know what you are doing, you can pull off cinematic tricks that even an iPhone can do, such as changing focus in a continuous shot. But if you don't know beyond the basics of operating a camera, the app will be very hard to use. The main camera app is a bit more novice friendly. 
It defaults to shooting in automatic mode and the resulting shots from the main 12 megapixel shooter can be quite pleasant. Ultimately, I find the phone's software image processing to be a step or two behind what top mainstream phones can do, especially when it comes to HDR photos. Having a dedicated shutter button on the side of the device is a welcome addition for those who take photography more seriously. The button can be pressed halfway to lock focus, a feature often seen in real cameras. Overall, the main and the ultrawide camera of the Xperia 1 Mark III performs very well. The variable periscope zoom lens is a treat. The shots appear sharp and the color level and details are great. You can record 4K video at 120fps, which captures one of the best detailed and optimized videos. There is a single 8 megapixel selfie camera on the front and it captures stellar picture. Performance will be no issues due to the flagship chip. Snapdragon 888 chip powers this phone and it's a 5G ready phone. Day to day use and gaming will be very snappy and you can play anything at highest possible settings. Sony has added in some gamer centric features including motion blur reduction and high FPS video recording. It comes with 12GB of RAM and 256GB or 512GB of storage option. The battery life suffers because of the very power hungry 4K 120Hz screen. The device is powered by 4500mAh battery with 30W fast charge support. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the most advanced big screen phone so far because it's much more than a phone. It's a highly evolved note taking device. Samsung has made its most elegant looking phone yet with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The squared of ages combined with the sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner of its vibe. The finish does a good job of resisting fingerprints. The massive 6.9-inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold, and colorful. More importantly, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The display is exceedingly bright and is fairly easy to read in direct sunlight. When using the display, scrolling is super smooth and fast. You can always choose 60Hz manually if you want to save battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features triple rear camera setup plus a laser autofocus sensor. The camera array starts with a 108 megapixel wide camera with a 1.8 aperture and it's paired with a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. The 12 megapixel telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50x super resolution zoom. The zoom lens delivers amazing quality. Every time you zoom into something, you will be surprised by the distance it covered and the details it captured. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's night mode is good but it's not quite as bright or colorful as the iPhone 11 Pro. Pictures taken with this device deliver stunning quality with great details and colors. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better results than the iPhone 11 Pro in close-up shots. If you want to record the sharpest video possible, you will be pleased to know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can record 8K video with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There's also a new Pro Video mode that lets you control the focus, exposure and zoom speed. The 12 megapixel selfie camera up front has a 120 degree field of view, which should come in handy for group selfies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra benefits from a swift 9ms response time for its S Pen, which is designed to deliver more of a pen to paper feel when taking notes or drawing. It's one of the fastest Android phones around and it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon's 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by up to 10% to 3.1 GHz and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. This processor is paired with 12GB of RAM and either 128GB or 512GB of internal storage. As you would expect from a premium flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports both flavors of 5G. You will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500 mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. It comes with 25W fast charging. It also supports wireless charging and 9W reverse wireless charging. It offers a best-in-class display, a better S Pen experience and a boatload of new features for work and play. The cameras are stellar, fixing the focusing problem with the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and the powerful zoom and Xbox gameplay give the Note 20 Ultra an advantage over the upcoming iPhone 12.